Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to bring you the vision video. What have I guess today is this week's end of reset. Like always, if you guys are looking for a specific item like a weapon, a gear piece, or a gear mod, anything like that, check out the description for the timestamps so you guys don't have to watch the entire video. Anyways, without further ado, um, let's get right into this. So the first person we're stopping by is a special blueprint vendor. From him, um, there's two items I would recommend buying right away. The first thing is this Firearms Gloves Blueprint. This is something really, really good if you're making a um, Banshee Pred build for PvP. Um, those builds are still really, really nice even for a AR or some machine gun. And if you are looking for a little bit more crit chance, Savage Gloves are the way to go. Uh, so like I said, if you are in need of them, pick out this blueprint. The second item you guys want to check out is this Pro Red Dot site. Once again, if you're missing a God Roll Scope for your uh, some machine guns, assault rifles, anything like that, having a Pro Red Dot site blueprint really doesn't hurt. Coming up next, we are stopping by the special equipment vendor. There's two items you guys want to check out from him. The first one is this prototype stamina mod. This is actually a 259 stamina and 2958 health mod. As you guys know, now stamina is really, really useful and really reliable for PvP or PvE. So using something like this mod is actually really good on your build. And the last thing you guys want to check out is this prototype performance mod. Um, this is actually a turret damage mod. If you're making something like a Firecrest build or um, if you just want your turrets to be a little bit stronger for no matter what build you're using, having this mod is really good to have. The next person you guys want to visit is the Wolf's Den safe house. And from him, there's a decent lightweight info for sale. What it has on it is 20% enemy armor damage, 18.3k base damage. But keep in mind, this will vary depending on how much firearms you have on your build. And for the talents, it comes with Determined, Destructive, and Unforgiving. In my opinion, this is more of a PvE assault rifle, so if you're looking for something to use during resistance or even underground, this is something I would recommend picking up. Um, the only thing you want to do is reroll Determined, try getting something like Responsive, or even Vicious if you do have a lot of health on your build, just so you can get a little bit more crit chance. The final item from him is this C79 scope. Now every time this scope is for sale, I always show it to you guys because this is the only scope that works with Deadeye the best in my opinion. Yes, you can use the other ones, but this one actually doesn't zoom in that much. And if you are making a Deadeye build, um, using a scope like this is pretty much the way to go. So what it comes with is 17% critical hit damage, 5.50% headshot damage, and 2% accuracy. So as I said, if you guys are in need of a assault rifle for PvE or this scope, check out the Wolf's Den safe house right now. Coming up next, we come to the Camp Clinton safe house. Um, the first thing you guys want to check out is this classic M44 carbine blueprint. Now this is something that you want to use if you're going for a headshot build, like a Hunter's Faith or a Sentry build. This is not something that's really good for critical hit damage, it's just really really good for headshot damage, um, because you can only put two attachments on it, which are a muzzle break and a scope. So from those attachments, you can get all the headshot damage you need, in order to make a one-shot PvP build, or anything like that. Next up, you guys want to look at the Special Equipment Avenger, still at Camp Clinton. Uh, so the first weapon you guys want to check out is this Cassidy. What it comes with is 340.50% stagger, 158,000 base damage, and it also has Responsive, Unforgiving, and the Boomstick Exotic Talent. This is something really, really good with a Lone Star build, like a 6-piece classified Lone Star, or even a 5-piece um, with something else, just pretty much anything with a shotgun build and, and shotgun mentality to use for PvP, um, this weapon is really, really good. The next item you guys want to check out is this Black Market SASG-12. Now, once again, this is a shotgun for a Lone Star build or even a 6P Striker build. This will be really, really good for PvP or PvE. But what it comes with is 308% stagger, 104k base damage, and for the talents, it does have dominant, brutal, and competent. So, um, the talents are not the best, they are um, kind of whack, I'm not gonna lie, but if you are in need of a shotgun for your striker build, this is something I would recommend picking up. All you really have to do is get rid of dominant, go for responsive, and this will be a nice pickup. A couple spots down, you guys want to look at this tactician's mask. What it comes with is 1183 stamina, 9306 skill power, and also has burn resistance. This, I know, is not classified, but as I said in previous videos, if you guys are still looking to make um, a kind of hybrid build for, for PvP or even PvE, whatever you wish, picking up a mask like this is not too bad. Next up, we are located at the Cavern Safe House. This person is actually selling a pretty good mod. This is a prototype electronics mod. What it comes with is 261 electronics and 3,000 
89 skill power. Now, I do understand electronics is not really that important in 1.8, but if you want to make a hybrid build, if you want to make more of a skill power build, this is a mod you should pick up. Madison Stan is next on the list, and this person is actually selling another mod. This time, it does come with 266 stamina and 1% critical hit chance. Now, this mod is really, really good if you're making something like a Nomad build, um, since you do have a lot of survivability and you want to go for more damage and just do a lot of damage in total. Having a gear mod like this is really, really good to have. If you guys are looking for a damage to elites mod, you want to check out the Ward Safe House. He's actually selling a 189 stamina and 3%. Damage to Elites mod. Now, as I said, this is not perfect. Um, it's not God Roll or anything like that. But if you are in need for PvE, check out the Ward Safe House. The final open world venture we're looking at is the Grind House. Now, if you guys are in need of a God Roll grip for your weapons, like your house, your Bullfrog, MDR, M4, whatever it is, you guys want to check out this vendor. What this grip comes with is 19% critical hit damage, 4.50% reload speed, and 2.50% stability. In my opinion, this is a great purchase. I'm actually going to buy a few of these myself um, because I don't really have a good one at all. So like I said, if you guys are looking for this, check out this vendor. Getting straight into the DZ, we are visiting the East 58th Street checkpoint first. What this person is actually selling is a really good vigorous chest piece. What it comes with is 1,271 firearms, which is very, very good. Um, and then it also comes with 8% skill haze, 4% all resistance, and it also has ammo capacity. The only thing you really have to do is get rid of the old resistance, go for health, and you will have a god roll, vigorous chest piece for your PvP or PvE build. The Park Avenue checkpoint is next on our list. Um, there's two items you guys want to check out from him. The first thing is this military M870. This is actually a shotgun, and what it comes with is responsive, determined, and competent. As you guys can see, it's not the best one. The damage on it is not really the highest, but it does have some decent talent, so if you guys are looking for... Once again, another shotgun option, you want to check this out. The last item is this M700 Tactical. Now once again, this is not the best one, the M700 Carbon is obviously better. But if you are into the game, if you are just coming back, you're looking for something to get kills far away, picking this thing up isn't a bad choice. Um, so what it comes with is 142% headshot damage, 130,000 base damage, and for the talents, it does have Adept, Brutal, and Elevated. Um, the one thing I would recommend, Get rid of Adept, go for something like Prepared or Deadly, and this will be a decent sniper rifle. The East 53rd Street Checkpoint is next on our agenda. Um, this person is actually selling a God Roll Firearms and Skill Haste mod. As you guys can see, the Firearms is at 267, and it is a 3% Skill Haste. If you're making something like a damage build and you want a little bit more, um, I guess, survivability with your heals back and um, your immune station, whatever you're using, Picking up this mod is a great, great choice. And even if you're not, um, even storing this in your stash is a great idea because you really never know when the next time a God Roll Firearms mod with Skill Haze will be for sale. Next up, we're stopping by the East 42nd Street Checkpoint, and this person is actually selling a really good magazine. What it comes with is 117% magazine size, 2.50% critical hit chance, and also 5% rate of fire. Now, it is not maxed out, you are missing like one bullet or two bullets, something like that. I do think it's one bullet, so it's not nothing major. If you are looking for something for PvP, a Red of Fire magazine is something I would recommend using. And then lastly, we have a Ballistic Shield Damage mod. Um, I do understand a lot of people were always asking me about Ballistic Shield Damage mods when I made that PvE uh, video on defense. If you are still looking for these mods, check out this vendor and purchase this mod. Lastly, you guys want to visit the 5th Avenue checkpoint in the Dark Zone. What this person is selling is a decent MP7. Now, once again, it is not maxed out, but it is okay if you're looking for something for PvP or even PvE. Um, this is a decent pickup. So what it comes with is 19.50% critical hit chance, 17.5k base damage, and for the talents, it does come with Dominant, Competent, and Brutal. Now, like I said, not the best talents, but if you do reroll something like Dominant and get Responsive or even Deadly, this will be a decent SMG. Lastly, um, it is this loud event break. This is something, once again, if you guys are in need for your weapon, you guys want to check it out. It comes with 18% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, and accuracy. Unfortunately, it is missing headshot damage, but it's not really a crazy amount, so it's not something you might tell a difference right away. Anyways, that is it for the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I respond to all my comments, but once again, 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Trap